It happens in every city in the United States, and it is happening here. Teenage prostitutes working the streets trying to make a living the only way they know how. Reporter Nazan Icor has an in-depth report on teenage prostitution. While most 15-year-olds are studying for final exams, hanging out at the mall, or preparing for the school dance, 15-year-old Naomi roams Central Avenue six days a week, selling her body for money as an underage prostitute. Naomi, who grew up in Dallas, Texas, won't give out her last name or show her face on camera for safety reasons, said she started turning tricks as a prostitute after running away from her abusive parents at the age of 12. They just do crack and coke and that's all they live off of and they just hit all of us and I just got fed up with them and ran away. Naomi, who admitted to using drugs, said that although she doesn't like being a prostitute, she continues to do it because prostitution is the only means she's ever had of making money. Forty to fifty dollars for like ten minutes. The lowest would probably be fifteen. I have to do it to make a living, to buy food for myself. I have nowhere else to go. When she's not on the streets, Naomi said she lives with two older prostitutes in a downtown studio. She said she feels protected by them. I stay with older prostitutes that look after me and they give me condoms. Naomi, who said she dropped out of school in the seventh grade, said the one thing she fears most about being a prostitute is being raped. She said she's been raped numerous times, resulting in two miscarriages and one abortion. I've been raped a lot of times. They just, like, grab you and throw you on the ground and start f***ing you, and then they take all your money and everything you have. Naomi said most of her clients are older men, ranging in age from 40 to 60. Just a bunch of older business people, probably like around 60 or 65, they pay good. Naomi said she doesn't want to get out of prostitution because she's used to it. In five years, I probably see myself six feet under. Twinkerbell, another underage prostitute, said that like Naomi, she ran away from home because of her abusive parents. I ran away from home because they abused me and, and other things. When she's not prostituting, Twinkerbell said she roams the streets looking for a place to sleep. I stay with people that I just met or I sleep outside, whatever I can. Officer Wood, a detective with the Albuquerque Vice Unit, is familiar with stories of underage prostitutes like that of Naomi and Twinkerbell. Officer Wood, who was wearing a mask to hide his face because he works undercover, said underage prostitution is a growing problem in Albuquerque. In the last year, I've run into four girls that are under the legal age, um, ranging in age from 14 to 16 years old. Officer Wood said underage prostitution is not controlled in Albuquerque because although it is a growing problem, the girls aren't being forced to do it the way they are in many East Coast cities. I can't say controlled because there's not, there's not, it's not like we're working child prostitution here. Like on the East Coast, it's a major problem, except nobody here has decided to work that and nobody's exploited here because I don't think we have a large enough population. Once underage prostitutes are found, Officer Wood said they are arrested and placed in an intervention program. We arrest them and take them to the D-home. While we're there, we try to do an intervention. Um, we offer them ways out of the system, and the only reason we book them into the D-home is to be able to contact them, and if we're able to intervene, we'll dismiss the charges to someone like Children of the Night. Children of the Night, a nonprofit organization located in California, helps underage prostitutes get off the streets. Wood says the organization responds immediately. They'll come within 24 hours and fly them to California, put them through school and get them a job, and take them off the streets. Officer Wood said older men, some who are pedophiles, typically pick up underage prostitutes. Older men seems to be the theme in all the training that we've had, a lot of pedophiles. Um, pedophiles that haven't reached the point where they're actually victimizing what we'll term as the innocent, the child that's going to day school or whatever. 
it's easier for them to get their fix by going out and paying somebody because they haven't gotten the fortitude or they haven't gotten brave enough yet to victimize somebody who's not on the streets. Officer Wood said the most populated area for underage prostitution is on Central, just east of Wyoming. When contacted about entering an intervention program, both Naomi and Twinker Bell refused. This is Nazan Icor reporting. UNM broadcast student Victoria Martin helped Nazan shoot and edit this report. People interested in contacting the California organization Children of the Night can visit their website.